This guy looks cool. I'm not gonna lie. Wow, that's really cool animation. Oh my god. Let's see if we see any uh, new phases here. Oh, there's the lightning. He goes into a second phase. Hey, yo, everyone. Welcome back to another underrated mod video. Let's hop into it. We're jumping into the mod browser here. And I think we should do some of the more recent mods for this episode. So let's get to it. Let's find some goodies here. Uh, we got a lot of great ones to pick from, as you can see. But I want the big boys. You know what? i'm looking for potat no that's not the one we're doing either you know what i think i think it's time we knock out one of the big boys we're gonna do the polarities mod and i already have it downloaded let's just hop right into it. the polarities mod is a great content mod if you guys want to watch someone doing a playthrough of it right now my boy gungnir is doing a playthrough go check him out let's let's hop straight into it so along with the polarities mod i also have this right here polarities citulid expansion and it adds more stuff cloud citulid i have no idea what the, we're just gonna enable it anyways including the music of course we gotta enable the music all right we are in the world here with the polarities mod and right away i can notice that there's a lot of this pink biome i don't know what this pink biome is i guess let's go check it out it is a very pink biome is that it <laughs> i guess so that's it oh we got things trying to attack me what, what the hell is this i can't really see the name yeah i can't see the name <laughs> wait it's like flesh fresh oh uh, we also got a salt hopper we got this thing a muscle wow look at it shooting stuff at us very interesting biome doesn't seem like there's too much in it which is uh i don't know seems kind of weird maybe we just found a bad one i don't know let's go to some other ones yeah it doesn't really seem like there's too much in it maybe you're supposed to fight a boss here or something unless we're just getting like bad rng like i'm not even seeing chests or anything any specific loot uh could be cooler look at this generation right here <laughs> but yeah let's get into the real stuff we want to see here and that is obviously the weapons accessories and armor as you can see there is a good bit maybe let us start with armor so we have storm cloud armor okay this is a summoner set it looks like looks pretty funny too in terms of just looks it looks like a like a gel or a slime armor set like what's up with the hat it's a mask apparently okay you know the head look like a bowling ball a cannonball okay set bonus summons clouds to drench your foes increase your max number of minions that's cool so if i just summon in oh look at that very unique armor set right off the bat that's what i like to see this mod is already in a positive direction minus the uh kind of lackluster biomes but that lackluster biome that honestly might be from the add-on i don't know actually but yeah let's check out a couple other armor sets this one looks really cool this sun plate armor set i look like something out of like dark souls like a cultist from dark souls uh your set bonus just critical strike chances so it's nice we got this right here self similar and it has a lot of helmets you gotta like when a armor set has a lot of helmets makes it so you can rock it for any class set bonus so you your set bonus does depend on the helmet i'm assuming at least part of it yeah we get defense if we wear the melee one we get minion damage if we wear the minion one increase your max number of minions grants resistance up to 12 minutes for fractalization interesting and let's go ahead let's check out one more armor set here sure this one high tech looks very cool i wonder why like half of it's red and half of it's blue it's very interesting you emit rings of damaging sparks on striking enemies but yeah all the armors their sprites they look amazing and they're all very unique you like to see it let's go ahead let's hop into the accessories i guess now uh we got the maul flesh grants a wall summoning dash let's see it in action what the heck <laughs> now if that's not unique i don't know what is that's pretty cool you literally okay i'd like to see it you literally send a wall of flesh with your dash that's amazing we got antoine's charm allows you to teleport a short distance by pressing an unbound hotkey an unbound hotkey what the hell does that mean <laughs> they mean a bound hotkey i'm gonna go ahead and put it on mouse four let's see it okay probably should take the grappling hook off but look at that you could teleport a fairly short distance i don't know if there's a cooldown i'm assuming there is since you get chaos state when you teleport but that could be a very useful accessory really depends how early on you get it i guess there is the bat emblem 15 percent increased minion damage grants more minion slots the lower your health up to maximum of 30 that's actually really cool it seems like there's a couple of extra emblems which i like because like they're they're unique this one gives you melee and it inflicts venom and poison and then this one gives you magic mana increased non-magic damage will not have full mana like there's some really cool emblems in here blood bearer summons tentacles around the player to spew blood at enemies 
whoa i like this one this one's very nice it seems like they do have a lot of summoner type stuff uh which i could always get behind I, I like when summoners touched a lot press an unbound hotkey to teleport to the point opposite of your cursor interesting so let me uh do the same thing here so if i'm facing this way i go backwards very interesting say if you're like fighting a boss and you know you're shooting you're shooting you're backpedaling and you hit the tp it's like boom you backpedal further i'm assuming but yeah let's check out the weapons now as you can see there's a lot of books i don't know i wonder what all these books do the perks of being a what are these books do i read them the perks of being a wall tower max life interesting so they have like a bunch of books that give you little perks that's actually really cool moving on though to the actual weapons where are they at here we go we got some weapons bone slinger so there there is these uh weapons that shoot out darts and the mod itself does add in a bunch of darts nice so they're like clubs and they shoot darts uh so this is a really unique take on a melee weapon here it's a projectile melee weapon that does range damage shoot no it's a ranged weapon are all of them ranged weapons because that, that would make more sense honestly yeah they are okay that makes sense uh we got this the rattle shaft who doesn't love rattlesnakes right we got a salt shaker does this require salt to shoot absolutely not thank god but it does shoot salt doesn't require it but it shoots it after that we got that scab stabber that just sounds very unpleasant uh solarang look at the fucking <laughs> look at the weapons right let's see it in action though look at that it's a boomerang holy we got the volcanic plume wow that's really cool animation let me zoom out a little bit that's a cool ass animation look at that golden bunny let's hit the golden bunny with it wow next up we have a summon here summons a channeled mini some is an image of the stardust pillar oh it's a channeled minion meaning that i have to keep holding left click that's a unique take on minions right there i always like when uh they can add a little like subclass to uh and honestly any class it doesn't have to be the summoner it's a little slow though on the attack let me let me bring it over here come on attack him you're the big bad stardust pillar kill the slime there you go come on yeah so obviously this mod has a bunch of unique weapons one thing i do know about the mod is i'm pretty sure if you do a no hit against a boss you get a rare weapon for it so let me summon in the king slime here kill it without getting hit with this uh worm spewer and then if we kill without getting hit we should get a nice unique weapon we can use yeah look at that boom the gel thrower as you can see at the bottom it says flawless meaning we did the boss flawless so now we get a nice weapon to compensate so that's like a very unique idea right there because it gives you a reason to try and no hit a boss because you get rewarded with a cool weapon and i'm pretty sure all the no hit weapons are actually like really good another weapon type they add in is war hammers they're just very long melee weapons uh and only the head of them hit Look at this one. This one we can stab with too, which is very cool. But yeah, I guess we'll check out a handful more here because I don't want to spend too long on this mod. Uh, it's a very, very cool mod though. Like, I can't lie. It's probably one of my favorite mods I've seen recently out of nowhere. Once I saw Gungnir start playing it, I'm like, yo, I always see this mod on the browser, but I've never played it. And then he showed off that it was a really cool, unique mod. And now here we are today checking it out, letting everyone know it's a cool, unique mod. But yeah, here's a couple more weapons. Very cool let's go ahead and hop into the bosses and enemies because this mod actually adds in a good bit so here's the uh citulid or C yeah citulid mod the expansion are these just like fish is that what the mod adds in just extra fish because i think these fish are the ones that fly in the sky and that's the that's the whole thing behind the citulid mod here uh i'm assuming i don't know maybe we'll see something but speak about the sky the first boss you fight from the mod is a sky boss and i believe that boss is called the like storm fish or something like that storm cloud fish here we go look at this this is the first boss you're supposed to fight from the mod it's a fucking fish and then he like shoots like lightning and stuff sometimes too i'm gonna turn down the music it's bumping but uh it's a little bumping too much but yeah look he's got like the clouds dropping water on you it's pretty much like the nimbus rod clouds let's do a little damage to it let's see if we see any uh new phases here oh there's the lightning very cool i'm gonna kill it though did we get the flawless weapon because i'm in god mode yeah look at that we got the flawless weapon awesome oh my god uh we're not gonna check out every boss but we are gonna check out a, a couple of them here including some enemies uh some enemies that we have here we got this thing a sunfish look at that guy he's funny looking i don't know if he's supposed to be up here or not you think he can swim in that he probably gets swimming that here you go bro here i'll put you in this one there you go perfect uh blood bat we got cone shell is that a 
I'm assuming this isn't an enemy. Uh, we got Alkali Spirit. Is that how you pronounce that? Alkali? Very cool. I believe, actually, there, there's another biome, I think. Yeah, right here. The Limestone biome. I remember seeing this biome in one of Gagnier's episodes, so that's why I remembered it. I believe this is the limestone biome. It seems like these biomes are, like, super empty, though. Like, there's not too much in it besides, like, the enemies that will spawn in it. So you can see there's, like, uh, spikes falling from the ceiling. So you gotta watch out when in here. At least they have that. That's pretty unique. All right, what else do we got here? I know there's, like, rattlesnakes and stuff in this mod. We got, like, little tiny ones. Look at Rattler. This dude got a hat. He got a Santa hat or Christmas hat. And he's just a regular Rattler. We got this one. There you you go nest guardian nice big one we got the mega menger what the hell does that even mean look at this guy looks like something you'd fight in the uh, minecraft aether mod very cool though how it moves we got the magneton is this a boss oh it is a boss the sprite on this is a little eh i'm not gonna lie compared to a lot of other sprites i don't really like this sprite I don't know. He's not really despawning after I killed him. It's all good. If he wants to stay here, he can stay here. Uh, can I spawn in other things, though? Oh, look at that sea serpent. Oh, God. <laughs> I'm assuming that's something you run into in the ocean. That's going to be kind of terrifying. We got the spitter, which is another snake enemy that spits. We got the stalag beetle. We got this thing, the dormant construct. Where is it? It's not spawning in. Maybe because it's not nighttime, but that's supposed to be a boss uh, that spawns this right here, the star construct but uh is is daytime what else we got we got the yura yura renade and it's gone okay a couple of these bosses probably won't do anything because they're gonna despawn can this dude like can i teleport away he's still following me i can't get rid of him even if i disable him i can't get rid of him I guess he's just gonna be joining us. There's a Hydra. That's very cool. That's a very unique sprite. I like that. We got the Hemorophage. What in the hell is this thing? Did you see how many arms this thing had? I wanna see it again. Oh my god. <laughs> that's terrifying. But yeah, I think that's enough. We honestly have seen enough. There's a lot of cool stuff in here. Whoa, I thought I was in God mode. Whoa, 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 whoa. There's a lot of cool things in this mod. I can't wait to check it out in a playthrough in the future. Uh, I definitely want to. But yeah, let's go ahead. Let's check out the next mod. All right, we are back here on the mod browser. The next mod we're going to check out here. This one I actually saw near the top. So it means it updated recently. The stars above. We're going to check out this mod. Uh, it adds in a bunch of cool content. It only adds in one boss, I believe. And it's at the end. The Warrior of Light. So that means that it's going to be a tough boss. And it's also one of the most unique Terraria bosses ever. That's some high words to put your boss up there and say it's one of the most unique bosses in Terraria ever. So I will be the judge of that. Let's go ahead and download this and check it out. All right, we're here in the world. We have revealed it. Is there anything cool? Maybe there is. I'll probably miss it. I don't know why dungeons always generate with this like Phineas and Ferb shaped nose. <laughs> But, you know, whatever the dungeon wants to do. But, yeah, let's check out the mod here. Stars above. Let's see what kind of goodies we got. I guess we can start with the weapons. Whoa, speak about the weapons. There is a whole last paragraph here to read. Oh, my God. What are, what are these, like, paragraphs with the weapons? I don't know if that wants me to use them more or less. Let's just grab a random weapon. I'm assuming the paragraph is, like, lore. Key of the King's Law. Summons forth blades from the greatest treasury to smite foes. Oh, okay, so it's one of these type of weapons. It's kind of a mage weapon, but just labeled as a summoner. Let's see it in action here. Very nice, though. A little weapon you can use in your uh, other hand while your summons are doing work. You can do some work, too. We got the Yunlai Stiletto. So we could swing it normally, or we could right-click in it. Teleports us. It's very cool. I like that. Very unique. Ooh, look at the little slash attack there. That's cool as hell. Reminds me of uh, Hollow Knight. We got the Memento Moose. This thing, what the heck? Am I supposed to like attack in a pattern? Does it do a special attack if I, I don't know, maybe it does more damage the more like on beat I am? It hurts my head using, I'm not gonna lie. I don't got the rhythm just vibing through me right now. Uh, what else do we got? Holy crap. See, I, I think they should probably like put the lore somewhere else. To me, I might just be stupid, but to me, seeing all this text definitely just like does not make me want to use a weapon. <laughs> Like, what the hell is all that? I just want to see the damage, and that's it. Uh, we got this here. Carlin True Silver. Very unique. Uh, do these projectiles, like, hurt the enemy? Maybe? Okay, no, I don't think so. But I can hurt the enemy. Look at that. We got the 
Kaizamir Seraphim. These things all have very interesting names. Oh, so it's like a sword, but it does summon damage. And then there's also a, a blade summon around me. Uh, does the does the blade do something? It deals contact damage. That's what it said. Come here. Come here. Let me hit you with this contact damage. Maybe because I'm in God mode? No, that time I hit it. Okay, interesting. I don't know why I didn't hit it the first couple swings. What else do we got here? We got the rad gun. This gun better be rad as hell. Right click to load bullets into it. Whack. <laughs> all right we loaded bullets into it let me try again okay it says i'm whack hold up give me a second there we go i actually loaded it correctly awesome now i feel rad all right but there you go there was a couple of the weapons very cool weapons but like the wall of text that could be put somewhere else uh probably do it like how calamity does it honestly where they have the whole like item with the lore in it or like you can honestly probably figure out how to put it in like a whole book itself you know a lot of mod developers are figuring out figuring out like ui stuff where they can put like lore or put like quest on like scrolls and stuff that you can read uh for example the spirit mod the split mod has a couple things like that the juice mod with all the mini bosses it has and then it has the little ui where you can like choose the quest for the mini bosses and stuff like that's doable nowadays but yeah uh in terms of accessories i'm pretty sure there's a couple here equipping this accessory does something thank you consume this artifact to unlock the ability living dead in the stellar array equipping this accessory grants the well but well fed buff permanently so yeah there's a couple of cool accessories uh in terms of armor i don't see too much armor i think there's just uh vanity but yeah let's see what i really wanted to see and that is the either enemies or just the boss because i don't know if there's more enemies Ah, uh, here we go. There's a specter of light, which is like a zombie. And then there's the warrior of light. Shall be our last. Oh, this guy looks cool. I'm not going to lie. I like that he has a voice too. That's very unique. It's not like a corny voice or anything. It's giving me like... It's giving me like Castlevania vibes. Like it's actually like cool dialogue. I'm assuming I hide in here. Is, that's like the uh, spirit of purity or spirit of light. I don't remember which one. I haven't fought them in forever. But I could just like hide in here and not take damage. But yeah, let's do some damage to him. Let's see what happens the more damage we do to him. Like I actually do like the voice lines. The voice lines really aren't that corny. At least like whoever did the voice acting, their voice is actually like epic to do it. You know what I'm saying? But there you go. Pretty much killed him. I wonder what he does. Whoa. He goes into a second phase down for the count. So he like immobilizes us so he can regen his health. This is cool. This is really cool. Same. I'm going to just like insta kill you though. Don't get too mad. Okay. Hold on. Though. He's getting crazy now. There you go. Is he dead for real this time? Look at these like meteors he's dropping on us. If the guide can survive, I can survive. He's still alive. What the hell? Is he dead now? Oh. Can I come with you? What? He sunk all the way down here? Okay, that music is bumping. I don't remember what game that's from. If that's Zelda or what. But that shit is bumping. But yeah, that that's definitely a unique boss. And that's the main thing I know about this mod. I've seen like a couple things here and there about this mod. But I wanted to see it in person. And it definitely lived up to the expectations. Honestly, I think it is probably one of the more unique Terraria modded bosses out there. But there's a lot I haven't seen. So I can't really compare it to too much right now. Because you never know. Somebody may be cooking up something we've never seen before. But the stars above mod. You you definitely get a nice big plus right there so we are gonna end this video off here because these are two like fairly big mods at least the polarity mod is the stars above mod not as big but i feel like this is way more than enough content for one episode these are in my opinion more popular mods you know they're not the like super hidden ones that we found recently but these ones i think definitely they have a little bit of a following behind them they're more well known than the other ones we checked out in the past but yeah for ratings i'm gonna give both of these mods our first five out of five both of them get it i really like what the stars above mod adds in with that boss that boss is super unique honestly might be a better final boss to terraria than the empress of light the moon lord whatever you want to consider the final boss with the journeys and update if they put that boss 
after the moon lord like i would consider that an amazing final addition right there the voice acting is really cool it's like the first time we've seen voice acting in terraria and it's not corny it's, it feels exactly how you expect it to feel and then the polarities mod just adds in a bunch of unique bosses it fills in a bunch of areas of terraria where you need some stuff for example the sky has really nothing in terms of bosses why not go fight a fish up there a fish that shoots lightning and then you got the magneto looking boss you got the boss with like a bunch of arms it's an amazing mod so i recommend that you guys check these out these ones are definitely going to be our highest rated for a while it really depends what we check out in the future but yeah i hope you guys enjoyed the video i'll see y'all next time